tabular file. So in this session, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create beautiful graphs in Splunk. Now, this is the data I have. Okay, so I'm going to explore the data of Grafana log file. And the data which I have is having uh, several type of error levels. Okay, so I have info level, I have warning level, and I have error levels. Okay, so just to show you it in a tabular format, if I just do table and underscore time LVL, then you can see that this is the data which we have. Okay, so on the left side, you can see the time and you can see we have info. If I go to next page, you can probably see uh, some of them coming as error. Now, if I scroll down, you can see we have of uh, warning type. Okay, so now let's see we want to uh, see how many of those are of info or error or warning type. And we want to see it based on a time chart. Okay, so uh, we want to see how is the trend every minute or every five minutes or so. Now to do that, all we have to do is we are going to use a time chart command. So we are going to use time chart and then we are going to count the levels. And if I just hit enter now, you can see that we are going to get some sort of data. Now this data may not be uh, in the format which you want. Okay, so one thing which we need to quickly fix here is you can see here it is showing as count of levels. So we don't want uh, this column name to be shown here. So uh, we are going to rename this column name as let's call it error type and hit enter so now you will see this this has started looking little better now we are going to click on visualization because what we want here is uh, we want a, a trend line chart okay so now once you see once you click on visualization it is going to select the best possible uh, chart for you based on the data you have now just in case if you are interested on some different type of uh, graph then you can click on line chart here and here you have like uh, several other recommendation which you can choose for example i can choose bar graph okay so here i can see uh, for like based on the time frame what was the count of errors now uh, one thing you to notice here is that it is giving us aggregation of all the error types so it is not able to segregate between info errors or warning or error right so to do that all we have to do is we need to break it down by using l level okay so we are breaking it down based on the level field now again i'm just going to change it to trend line because that's what looks bit better and now i'm going to click on search so we can see uh, how the data is going to look like now okay so now you can see we have error we have info and we have warning and this is the trend of all of these uh, all of these three types of you can say error okay and now one thing to notice here is if you just scroll uh, scroll a bit down now you can see the interval of this timing is every five minutes okay so we have data for 1255 then we have data for 13 then we have data for 1305 now what if you don't want to see data or you don't want to aggregate data based on every five minutes rather you want to aggregate data at interval of every 30 minutes okay so uh, that's pretty easy all you have to do is you just have to uh, type span equal to 30 minutes okay and then what it is going to do is it is going to uh, aggregate the data based on every 30 minutes so now you can see we have 12.30, then we have 1 p.m., then we have 1.30, and here is the data point here at 1.30, and then we have for 2 p.m., 2.30, and so on. Uh, of course, you can change it to hourly, and all you have to do is you just have to specify the number of hours. So in this case, if I want uh, based on every hour, I can do span equal to 1H, which is going to specify uh, that data we want to see aggregated on every hour. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like if it is on hourly basis. Now, uh, let's say we want to have, you know, dynamically, we want to create three different uh, graphs, okay, based on one for basically each of these types. So one for error, one for info, and one for warning type. So in that case, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just click on trellis, and once you click on trellis, there is going to be use trellis layout, select this, and then from the aggregation, you need to split it by level, okay? So you want to split it by LVL, and now this is the trend line which you have, okay? So now you can see we have a separate uh, trend line for error and for type info and for warning. And I'm just gonna uh, set it to 30 minutes again, so we can see 
uh, more data here and also if you want to see like um, more duration of data you can just switch it to like last 24 hours or so uh, so that's another thing which you can do and one important thing which uh, i want to show you is for example let's say when you don't have data and in that case do you want to show that as zero or do you want to show that as uh, nothing or do you want to sh uh, probably show it as a just just as a dot okay so for example if you see here for 1600 we have zero error zero info and zero warning so what do you want to do in this case let's say if you don't want to see this complete record where you don't have any data in that case all you have to do is uh, there is a field which is called count okay so this is for continuity so you can set it to false okay so once you set it to false and you click on search you will notice that all the records of for all the uh, for the time where we don't have any value for error info or warning is going to get disappear okay so i'm going to click on search and now if we scroll down you can see all those data points are now you can see we have data only for the time when we have some data either in error or info or warning so where we had uh, no data absolutely no data in error info or warning those uh, those records have gone okay so again based on whatever requirement you have you can quickly uh, create these visualizations now i can just save it as a dashboard so for that all i have to do is just click on save as and click on dashboard panel and then give it a name so i'm going to say uh, I'm just going to name it error trend line and that's all you can just click on save and your dashboard is ready you can click on view dashboard and once you click on view dashboard you are going to be taken to that dashboard and this is how that dashboard is uh, going to look like okay so this is how it looks like and in next session we are going to learn some of the other things how we can uh, make it even more dynamic or probably we can learn about uh, drill downing and some of the other important stuff. Thanks for watching.